Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 86 for XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to distribute the left edge of objects using the object alignment dialog. And this tutorial is going to pretty much apply to most versions of the XAR Web Designer software. So if you have a previous version of the program, you should be able to follow right along as I complete this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to the upper left hand corner of your screen to your toolbar to your quick shapes and select the rectangle and we're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle in our workspace and once you draw that rectangle go ahead and hit control C and that's going to make a copy of that rectangle and then go to your selection tool in your toolbar and then hit control shift V and that's going to make an exact copy on top of this first rectangle and if we left click and drag that over you'll see that there was indeed a copy on top and we're going to repeat that process again hit control C control shift V drag that copy we just created over and then hit control shift I mean control C not control shift and then hit control shift V to paste it on top and then we'll drag that one further out and make sure that again that that last rectangle is further out than the distance between these first few rectangles and I did that for a reason uh, I'm going to try to explain to you what's going to happen when we bring up the dialog to distribute the left edges of these objects. But well, first I'm going to explain that it's not under that function right now. Right now, the first few objects kind of have a similar distance between its left edges. If you took an arrow and you drew the left edge from the left edge of that first rectangle to the second rectangle, the distance between those two rectangles is similar to the second and third. For example, we took the left edge of the second rectangle and we drew an arrow from its start point to the third rectangle, it has a similar distance as the first two rectangles. But if we took the left edge of the third rectangle and drew an arrow to the fourth rectangle's left edge, it's a much greater distance. So the last two rectangles have a much greater distance between its left edges. And what the program is going to basically do is just going to adjust these rectangles so that they all have a similar, or in other words, an equal, it's not going to be similar, it's going to actually be very equal in terms of the distance. It's going to create an equal distance between each of the left edges of all these rectangles. So let's go ahead and hit control A to select all those rectangles. Go to our range menu. Go to alignment. That's going to bring up our object alignment dialog. And before you do anything, make sure that your within selection is set to selection bounds. And also make sure that both the horizontal and vertical positions have it set to no change. So now that we have that proper. Let's go to horizontal positions, click on the drop down menu and select distribute left edges, hit apply. And now if I were to draw arrows on the screen, starting from the left edge of each of these objects, you'll see that they all have similar distances based on the left edge. So they all have an equal distance from its left edge. And I do want to emphasize that it is equal. It's not similar, even though I use that word in this tutorial it is an equal distance from the left edge of each of these objects and the program is making that calculation to guarantee that it's an equal distance from each of the left edges of these rectangles but I want to show you one other thing if I were to adjust this first rectangles left edge and drag it back now it has a greater distance from its left edge to the second objects left edge and so now it has a, a greater distance than the other objects that we have in our workspace. So if we were to hit control A and hit apply, you'll see that the other rectangles adjusted so that again we have that equal distance between each object's left edge. So it doesn't matter the width of the rectangle. The program is going to make adjustments to ensure that each object has the same distance based on its left edge. And the reason that I, I adjusted this first rectangle is because I wanted to show you that it's not based on keeping an equal distance between each of these rectangles. You can see that the distance between each of these rectangles is of a different distance. So hopefully you understand that concept. And if you did, great. If you didn't, you know, send me a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to help you. But everything that you just seen, you'll be able to apply that to the right edge of the objects as well. If you select it, distribute right edges. The same concepts, the same concepts would apply. It would just be for the right, be for the right edge of the object. So, if this tutorial was helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, 
and bed and i hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day